Hey guys, those of you who have NVIDIA graphic cards after Debian installation are probably wondering, can I unleash all the 3D power of my device within this system? The default open source compatible drivers are getting better and better every year thanks to reverse engineering, but if you want to really get the maximum performance out of your device, you need to install proprietary drivers. Those drivers are being developed by NVIDIA Corporation and their source code is closed. That means that we don't really know for sure what that code does. So if you trust NVIDIA, you can install those drivers in Debian and I will tell you how to properly do that. Also, I need to mention that this video is not for gamers. If you're going to play video games on Steam, you can watch my video on how to install NVIDIA drivers and Steam that I created specifically for gamers. You can find the link in the description below. So let's get started. Before we start the installation, we need to make sure that your graphic card model is supported by the current driver version. First, we need to open the terminal. If you don't know the exact model name, you can find it out by running this command. All the commands that I mention in this video you can find in the description below. If your graphics card has NVIDIA chip, you'll see that in the first line. Usually the model name starts with GeForce. On my computer, it's GeForce GT730. If you have more than one graphic card, that means you have an Optimus Hybrid graphics chipset. I will show you how to deal with that later on in this video. Then we need to go to the official NVIDIA website and check if your card is supported by the driver. The current version that is in the Debian repositories is 375.82. Once we open the page, let's look through the list to see if the card is there. Bingo! I found it. That means that we can proceed. By default, Debian doesn't have non-free repositories enabled in the system. In order to do that, we need to open the repository list file and add it manually. You'll need administrative rights for that. Use sudo or su command. In that file, we can see all the repositories in the system. In order to add non-free repositories, let's add words contrib and non-free at the end of each line after main. You can move the cursor with arrow keys on your keyboard. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard. Then enter and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. Let's let our system know that we changed the configuration running update command. Also, we need to install Linux kernel headers to help the system build the driver files. You should type letter Y to confirm, then press Enter. OK, now we are ready spaghetti. If you had two graphics cards shown when we were checking the model's name, you need to run this command. I have only one, so I will go with another option. Depending on your system performance and internet speed, the installation can take a long time. At the middle of the installation, you will get a message stating that the NVIDIA driver conflicts with the current open source driver. That is normal, you can fix that by rebooting your machine right after the installation. The installation is finished. I'm going to see you guys right after I reboot. I'm back. If you use XFCE desktop environment, you might notice that the fonts are now a bit blurry and small. That's because the NVIDIA driver's installation program reset the default DPI. Let's fix that by going to Settings, Appearance, 
fonts. The DPI setting appears to be 96, but it's really not. To correct that, we need to press the small down button several times and then up till the number is going to be 96 again. I also recommend setting the hinting. You can go through every mode and check which one works the best for you. I prefer slide mode. And finally, if you are among those unlucky users who got NVIDIA Graphics Horizontal Lines tearing bug, I strongly recommend to watch my video on how to fix that. The method is really hard to find on the internet. I'll put the link in the description below. I hope this video helps you to improve the performance of your computer. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. In case you have any questions, please type it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. See you later.